Are you sure my face is blurred? Yes, don't worry. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. My name is Jackie, but I also go by the name of Nerdy Crafter. I have this addiction of creating things that come from video games and geek culture. There are even times where I think I hear this weird voice in my head telling me to craft things. So I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, psst, Jackie, down here, look down here. Yeah, it's me. Let's craft together. But I can't craft right now. I really have to go to work. Come on, you know you want to. You need me. Stop, I really don't want to craft right now. Do it. My self-control is completely removed because I just need to have every new polymer clay color, every new mold, and I just can't help myself. I'm really embarrassed to open this because I haven't shown this to anyone at all, not a single soul, but I am revealing this right now. This is my part of my polymer clay collection. I mean, people would say no one in their right mind would ever use that much liquid Sculpey. I beg to differ. I, I definitely beg to differ. And because of that, I just, nothing is where it should be, which for me is okay, but I think I'm starting to annoy other people. Jackie, do you know where the toothpicks are? I really need to get this thing out of my teeth. I swear, if you have it in your craft room... Jackie, have you seen my beard trimming scissors? They are not in the bathroom. And so help me, if they are in your craft room, you and I are going to have a serious talk. We really need to learn how to organize and put things back in their place. And if things are supposed to be in my craft room, what ends up happening is I just have no room on my desk. I, I don't even bother cleaning anymore because I know I can't stay away. I'm just going to come back anyways and, and use that desk. It's like, why make your bed if you know you're going to sleep on it anyways that same night? It, it's just, it makes no sense to me. I have gone out in public before where my nails were just full of clay right under them. And it is pretty embarrassing because when people look at your nails, they think it's grease or dirt or something. When in fact, it's just non-toxic craft materials. One of the biggest problems, I think, with my addiction is I'm getting rewarded for it. So, you know, like it or not, you, if you get rewarded for something, you just want to keep going. So I got my plaque from YouTube saying, congratulations, you made it to 100,000 subscribers and now I'm at 400,000 subscribers and I feel like there are other people out there who understand my addiction, and maybe who even have the same crafting addiction as me. And so going by the name Nerdy Crafter just seems to make sense, and that's nerdy with an E because you can't be a dork unless you do play on words, so the pressure is really big to maintain that image. My biggest advice for people who have the same issue as me, you are not alone. And if it makes you happy and it doesn't hurt anyone else, then I think, I think it's okay. Craft on. One thing's for sure, polymer clay does not make a um, good pillow. This is actually pretty uncomfortable. But in my defense, I do use the toothpicks way more than anyone else in this house. So I think, I think it's okay for it to be in my room. Uh, and also the beard trimming scissors. Yeah, those are great for precision cutting. So... I mean, if he's gonna cut his beard and trim it only once a week, and I'm gonna craft, you know, three times a week, wouldn't it make sense for its place to be in my craft room where it's used the most? I don't know, I'm just saying, I don't, I'm not the expert. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun putting it together. And yes, I do have all of these blocks of clay because I get them from Sculpey. And I didn't even show you my closet of craft materials. Uh, so yeah, we're just we're just gonna stop it there. With that said, I have an Acubet dope box that I want to open with you guys, and I'm super excited for this one because the theme is like I think teamwork, <laughs> beasts, beasts. <laughs> uh, why do I forget these things? I have such a terrible memory when it comes to just themes of things. Oh, by the way, you know who got to this before me? See this? This here, that's my parrot, Angel. He just has this obsession 
with cardboard or paper and he'll just take a bite out of it. So it's kind of like leaving his little stamp mark. Actually, before I open it, I do want to be clear that yes, I do own all that clay. And it is because I get them from Sculpey, so yeah, I have a lot of colors. Because you can't have too many colors and that might be an actual problem, but I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm probably happily living in ignorance. Let's just, let's just get on with it. If you don't know what Akibento is, I am not sponsored, it is a monthly subscription box for us anime dorks. So this month is Beast, next month I believe the theme is Passion. So it has things like Yuri on Ice, and if you're that kind of anime fan, which I'm super excited for, make sure you check them out, and let's check what's inside. I definitely saw this one here, because it totally caught my attention which is a huge 700 mils. I don't know what's that in ounces. 25, there you go. 25 ounces or 739 milliliters. And let's see, Inuyasha keychain. Um, again. <laughs> I love this cat. Oh my goodness. I actually wanted to do a craft with this cat. We have a bow tie. Oh my gosh. I love putting bow ties on Ramses because he looks so cute in his little bow tie. I don't know why he enjoys wearing them. I think it would be really neat if they actually labeled what the anime is because if I'm interested in going to watch it, then ideally it should be marked somewhere around here. So there's just way too many anime, just way too many to be able to catch up. So here's our little bow tie, a notebook, which, again, I checked, and it only said sketchbook of friends. <laughs> I've watched a lot of Beast-type anime, but I don't know why I'm not recognizing any of the ones in this box. So I think it would be really neat if we had a bit of a, a preview, or just tell us what's this. Because this is pretty, but what is it? I don't know. It is kind of sad. <laughs> I'm not sure I would wear this outside, so it's going to be part of my pajama t-shirts. Digimon, which I used to watch a long time ago. I am definitely hoping, let me just double check here, Hadamon was one of my favorites. Set. Ah, oh, I'm so happy I got Hadamon. <laughs> Button. So if you guys are interested, again, I'm not affiliated and this is not sponsored. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.